the JAMA Network. Monitoring blood pressure can help identify individuals at risk for developing hypertension, which if not controlled can increase the risk of stroke. Stroke is responsible for approximately 1.5 million deaths each year in China. Clearly, there is an urgency there to develop a cost-effective strategy to halt and reverse the upward trend of a stroke in China. Dr. Xiaobin Wang from Johns Hopkins University and co-authors studied more than 20,000 Chinese adults who had high blood pressure but no history of stroke or heart attack. The patients lived in 32 communities across two Chinese provinces. Baseline folate levels were measured, and participants were screened for a specific gene that regulates how folate is metabolized by the body and then grouped by those results. Within each of those three groups, patients were randomly assigned to receive a common antihypertensive medication and folic acid or antihypertensive medication alone. Treatment and follow-up lasted five years. The patients who received antihypertension treatment plus folic acid had a significant reduction in the risk of first stroke. In fact, the, um, the reduction is about 21 percent. This study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We didn't find a significant difference between the two treatment groups in terms of the frequencies of adverse events. The benefits from using folate to prevent stroke were most notable among participants with lower baseline folate levels. This offers a simple and a safe treatment to prevent stroke, particularly in China. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.